Today we are talking about dashboards. Not just any dashboards, but the kind where you open Home Assistant and go, wow, I finally understand what's happening in my home. And that is thanks to two brand new hex cards that dropped recently, the TrimUp card and the Compact Power cards. Both are visual, both are useful and both make your energy dashboard go from school project to professionally designed. And before we dive in, as always, the GitHub links are in the description of the video and if you use the cards, please go and give a star to the repositories. Stars are currency of appreciation in open source. Developers survive on Coffeine and GitHub stars. These cards solve a problem we all have. Too many numbers, too many sensors, too many entities and not enough ways to see the whole picture at once. So let's start in a couple of seconds. The TrimUp card is one of those where you install it, add three sensors and immediately think, why didn't Home Assistant already have this? The link to the repository will be down in a comment section below. And of course, once again, if you do end up using this component, don't forget to give it a star on a GitHub repository. A tree map is a chart where each entity becomes a rectangle. The size of the rectangle is the numerical value. The bigger the value, the bigger the rectangle. The color can also reflect the ranges or categories. Rectangles can be grouped, sorted or color coded and you can visualize dozens of sensors without clutter. For example, temperature, stocks, lights, humidity. It basically is the ultimate show me the big picture instantly card. Let's go through some use cases, because this is where the card really shows its superpowers. For example, temperature sensors. You can group all temperature sensors, living room, bedroom, office, wherever you want, and you can instantly see what is the warmest room or device in this case and the coldest ones and how everything compares. The big red is warm, the small blue one is cold. Of course, everything can be configured. Unfortunately, for you that prefer UI, no, you cannot configure it through the UI, but you can still do it very easily through the YAML code. Next one can be, for example, the power. Everything is in the color and the size. Since most of the loads here are identical or very near or close to zero watts, there is not that big difference in the terms of the size of the rectangles. But there is a difference in color. We can see that this one here, which is the USB charger, currently is using 16.4 watts. And the smallest or the bluest one is the POE switch, currently using 0.6 watts. Everything is visible at a glance. Same applies to the humidity or any other thing that you want to visualize and have a lot of entities off. Or in this case, when I added or turned on all of my heaters, you can see that it really visually identifies everything inside your home based on the entity state. This can be applied to solar power, CO2, other sensors that you have a lot of that you want to visually at a glance see how they are doing at this exact moment. So how do you install it? You go to Hex, search for the tree map card, click on Install and just press Reload to clear the cache. That's very easy. And as far as the configuration goes, let's look at one of the examples. You can start with the example code that you can find on the GitHub repository. Paste it here and then just customize it based on the devices that you want to exclude or include. You can set up the height, gap size and just play with all of the settings to get what you want from the color, size, icons, etc, etc. And in a couple of minutes you will have everything visually as you want to have inside your home assistant. Next up is the compact power card. Once again the link to the GitHub repository will be down in a video description. Click on the star if you end up using it. If TrimUp card shows the big picture, the compact power card gives you elegant details about your home. It is designed to show you current power usage or where the power flows inside your home. It's all in a tight, minimal and a beautiful card. 
and why people love it, because it's super clean, it's great for dashboards with limited space, perfect for solar and energy monitoring, and it also fits nicely in the Mushroom ecosystem if you're using Mushroom. If you want to install the cards, search for the compact power card and just click on the install. Since this is a card, we do not need to restart our Home Assistant and the card is available inside your UI. But same as the previous card, this card also doesn't currently allow the UI configuration. So you need to click on Show Code Editor, paste the example code you copied from the GitHub repository and they just play with it. My example has more code because I've just played with it for some time. For example, you can define the PV if you have a solar system, grid power, battery if you have one, and also if you have dedicated home load sensor, you can use that one, or add individual devices. Funny thing is that in the end, those devices actually do not need to be just the power-related devices. For example, if you have electric car, and you have electric car charger, you can also add a sensor that tracks the, for example, temperature of this charger. Next, for example, you can add additional sensors. For the grid, for example, I'm also tracking the voltage of the home and also energy price. If you have dynamic price, then this one would show here in the corner. You can play with the colors, play with the brightness depending on the state, if it's above or below certain values. And it's really all very customizable. Of course, if you do not have part of the system, for example, battery, you don't need to include it and it will not be visible inside the graph. So where do you use it? If you have solar production, house consumption sensors, battery charge, discharge, individual heavy consumers like heaters, 3D printers, you can see the live power usage. It's basically universal clean card for any entity measured in watts. But yes, as you can see, these are the individual cards. Here I've created the UI with two cards. For example, you can use Trimup to show everything at once and then use Compact Power Card to give you clean individual details. Where I'm using Vertical Stack to stack three cards. One is the Trimap with couple of sensors. The other one is Compact Power Card showing me currently only solar production. And the other one is tracking my grid use or everything that's been pulled from the grid. This layout takes two minutes to design, but looks like you hired the dashboard designer. This is kind of setup that makes visitors say, wow, what app is this? And then you say it's Home Assistant, and then you go to your home and spend six hours adding devices to your UI, which we all done probably a couple of times. Three card and the compact power card are incredible additions to the Home Assistant ecosystem. They are modern, they are useful, flexible, actively developed, and perfect for energy-focused users. They level up your energy dashboards, the cast one, and make your home data more understandable. Of course, this also makes your smart home feel genuinely smart. Again, go and start the GitHub repositories. Open source developers deserve the love. If this video helped you, hit the like button, Subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you to all wonderful channel members supporting my work. If you want to support the channel, you can join for just 2 euros or 2 dollars per month. You can visit my merch store or send me super thanks, and I'll be super thankful for that. I will be seeing you next one. Until then, bye bye and have fun.